mind. Through a special headset, virtual medicine immerses patients in three-dimensional images, soothing sights and sounds to help them feel better and become healthier. It has many therapeutic applications, says the physician and researcher who runs the virtual medical program at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. It's being used for physical therapy, it's being used for eating disorders, uh, for high blood pressure management, uh, for schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, irritable bowel syndrome, the list goes on and on. Helping accident victims, people recovering from surgery, cancer patients, and even women in labor. And to train doctors and nurses. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration calls the field medical extended reality and is working to expand patient access and measure the effectiveness of the technology. This patient says it helps him manage chronic pain he has suffered since undergoing cancer treatment decades ago. It's like being in a movie theater, black and movie theater, with no one around you, where all you can see is the screen. And it just pulls you right in. The program takes him virtually to new places. Whether it's scenes of cows grazing in a field in, in the Swiss mountains, or you know, swimming with the dolphins or swimming with a big blue whale. The system provides feedback to help users calm the mind and retrain the brain, says a psychiatrist who develops the programs that work through sophisticated headsets. So this headset has embedded biosensors in it for collecting heart rate, heart rate variability, uh, your uh, pupillometry, which is your pupil size, also eye tracking letting the patient fly over a waterfall, for example, controlling the imagery with the mind as the body responds to the calming experience. Chronic pain, like Tom Norris's, is located in the brain as much as the body, says physician Spiegel. What can happen is the tissue itself may even heal almost completely, if not completely, but there's still a sense of pain. And it's almost like the pain has moved from the periphery all the way up into the brain, where the brain itself starts to generate pain. In eight to 12 weeks of training, that process can be reversed. Through virtual medicine, an emerging specialty, Dr. Say is helping patients with various health conditions. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.